Hello everyone, break out your popcorn or nachos and cheese and stuff because this part of Nefuri's Reign Invasion of the Dark Mistress talk through is going to be pretty long because I'm playing in Dark Side, one of the longest levels in Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition. And that Enforcer refuses to die. Uh, at least they didn't get this uh, weapon stealer. So you got the money? Yeah, I got the money. I'm finally using the last uh, character that I, that can be used without giving away spoilers. Well, there is one other character, but uh, I'm not going to reveal her. And uh, and of course, I'm not talking about the uh, spoilerific character either. Either. So you got it's, the money? Uh, one other character, but uh, she can only be accessed uh, through one certain character's uh, slot. I may reveal it at a later time, but uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, because I felt like it, uh, I'm prepping Lisa Bates uh, for when she needs to be used again. Yeah, I gave her both unknown medicines. Anyways, uh, it is time for Essence's turn to shine. Essence Margolin is a battle lord. Or to be more specific, an elimination squad soldier battle lord. He is the other playable alien bastard of this mod. Now, uh, he has two modes, uh, an armored mode and an armorless mode. When he's armored, his jump is the worst out of all the characters in the game. It's even worse than Sylvanas Morgando's uh, jumping. And you know what? Uh, Essence uh, is a tank, just like Sylvanas as well. Of course, that's expected, because... Uh, you're playing as an alien bastard, uh, who normally, as an enemy, uh, is really strong. Uh, like, I could have gotten this secret on the way back, but, uh, I wanted to get it out of the way now. Anyways, uh, Essence takes a lot of punishment just like Cybanus, as I said before. And I'm not sure what Essence's other attributes are, but uh, I believe if he has his armor on, he takes much less damage than Cybanus does. However, if you want to jump normally, you're going to have to take uh, Essence's armor off. Now, Essence Margolin is voiced by Lord Misfit, who also did the voice of Jack Walker in this mod. Ooh, invincibility! Now this is a good opportunity to show you how bad Essence's jumping is. Yes, that is his jumping with his armor on. It sucks. It really sucks. Uh, by the way, uh, I never did give the official name uh, for that uh, assault uh, trooper that uses the mortars and uh, even rockets. Uh, it's called the Assault... Uh, the Ravager uh, Captain. The Ravager Captain. I believe the other uh, Assault Trooper that shoots the Shrink Ray is uh, called the uh, Shrink Captain. Because uh, it uses the Shrinker Expander just like uh, your characters in this mod can use. Eh, they apparently not going to be much of a challenge since... Uh, you're pretty strong, and they're not. Oh yeah, I'd like to address this, like, uh, like Cybanus, Essence has pathetic, uh, underwater, uh, air time, so... It's advised that you give him a scuba gear right away, uh, Because, uh, he's not gonna last. Ah, invincible enemy, invincible enemy! Uh, expect this part uh, to be real long. About uh, three videos, in fact. Because uh, it's going to go over the YouTube time limit. 
I'm waiting for the uh, Involn is war worn off message. If I can see it without protective boot. Yep, it's off now. I just took off uh, Essence's armor. Now, Essence without his armor? His jumping is on par with just about all the other characters in this mod. So if you want to j get around to high places with him, I'd recommend taking off his armor first. Of course, uh, I'd recommend uh, leaving his armor on for the harder battles to come. I believe I uh, found everything in this room, secret-wise. Ah, this is no problem that can't be fixed. With the Death Gate missiles, that is. I might be a traitor, but I'm more alive, unlike your pathetic carcass. Eh, wonder why. You're slaughtering your own kind, Essence. But then again, uh, you're solving their overpopulation problem. Which is what I'm going to uh, explain right now. The reason for uh, these alien bastards invading this uh, planet is due to the fact that their home planet is overpopulated. Really overpopulated. So they have to go to other planets to see if it's inhabitable by their kind and then uh, conquer it and uh, take out uh, whatever existing life is in there. Uh, get away, uh, invincible enemy. I can take care of him on the way back, because uh, uh, I'm going to be heading back there anyway. Now anyways, uh, these alien bastards are uh, finding new worlds uh, to conquer and uh, populate with their own kind. I don't know why they don't do something about their population. Maybe they need to... Uh, control how much uh, breeding they're doing? Uh, I don't know how fast uh, they can uh, breed. Ouch, ouch. Uh, if I was some other character, they'd be dead already. But like I said, Essence is a tank like Cybanus is. Speaking of which, I should put on his armor again. Oh, I think uh, Essence's speed is also affected by the armor too. Uh, I got spit on, I think. Take off armor and put it back on again. Okay, I'm gonna be, have to be real fast here, cause uh, there's four captive women inside that nukage, and if I'm not fast enough, some of them will die in it. And I did it. Remember back at the uh, Red Light District, uh, E1L12? Same situation as here. Okay, I don't have to worry about any more secrets, because uh, the last two secrets are towards the end of this level. Okay, got his armor back on. I knew it! I had the gut feeling that there would be an invincible enemy there. And I was right! 